Somebody told me that to change, you gotta stop listening to the same voices playing over and over in your head. I can pretty much get the voices to stop now, but it's the images that keep coming back. Certain ones, like the day they raided us. The tear gas burning my eyes. The moment they cuffed me. Watching one of my best friends die. Maybe it's a good thing that I can't get rid of them. So I can't forget where I came from. Everyone has their number. My number is 18. This is my 18th foster home placement. And that goes along with other numbers. 11 misdemeanors, nine felonies, four convictions, and one new haircut at the insistence of my caseworker. They say that when you get released from prison, you have the glow, a new attitude. Who knows? I'm just hoping 18 will be my lucky number. We thank you for the food that you have before us. And we thank you for the loving hands that have prepared it. Lord, we have a new member of the family at the table tonight. And we thank you for bringing Brendan into our lives and for the new life that you have given to him. Yes, Lord. We ask that you give him strength and wisdom in his new endeavors at school. And may he always rely upon you. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, you must be excited about school. Yes, ma'am. Tomorrow morning we have a meeting with the principal. It's nothing special. He just wants to make sure that the transition's going smoothly. Okay. Northside's a good school. I've been a teacher there going on uh, 25 years. Vanessa was a nurse there for how long, sweetheart? Long enough. <laughs> well, speaking of smooth transitions, your curfew will be 9 o'clock on school nights. You've had a curfew before? Oh, I've, um... I've had a lot of practice being on time in the last few years. Yes, yes, I suppose you have. But it will be different without someone looking over you. Yes, ma'am. I'm sure it'll all work out fine. Of course it'll be fine. I just want to be clear on our expectations. There'll be plenty of time for these things later. Alcohol on your breath, or weed on your clothes, we have to report. Same with fighting or erratic attendance. Now, what's going on with the community service? The uh, Faith Club's working on a few projects this fall. He'll pick up the hours there. It's important that you don't fall short in that area either, Brendan. Yes, sir. Sorry I'm late. Brendan, this is Chris. He's volunteered to show you around. How's it going? So you just moved in with Mr. Stubbs, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, he's a pretty cool guy. He mentors our Bible study after school. Yeah, that's what he was telling me. Yeah. Well, look, Northside is just like any other school. We got jocks, geeks, princesses, and even a few cool kids such as myself. When you're working with absolute value inequalities, there's a lot you have to keep straight. You have to combine everything you know about inequalities with everything you know about absolute values.
Did you tell him he could work on Lewis's car? Hmm? He's working on Lewis's car. Yeah, he said he took some shop classes and asked if he could. Well, sweetheart, I really don't think that was your decision to make. Since when do you care about cars? You know what I mean. Okay, I I'm sorry, you're right. Guess I should have said something to you. Um, I can tell him. Well, you can't tell him now that you let him start. I thought we agreed. We were going to try to help the kid turn his life around. Well, I just didn't know that Lewis's car would be a part of that plan. So in the garden, we see him pitting man against God. And in Job, we see him trying to turn God against man. And in Matthew, we see him scheming to turn Jesus from God. Now, Jesus has just begun his ministry. He's only been baptized a few days prior. He hasn't even performed a single miracle. And yet the enemy is already trying to bring him down. So, Brendan, how are you finding it so far? Uh, it's, he doesn't say much. Yeah, that's the rumor. He's got that quiet thing going for him. Yeah, he keeps to himself. So does that mean you're not going to join our volleyball team then? Volleyball team? Yeah, the... The Seekers has an intramural team, and we play after school at the park. You should come out Friday night. It's more like jungle ball than volleyball. And then afterwards, you can check out my band. Yeah, see, we play mostly alternative rock, but there's some Christian skate punk thrown in, and... They changed their name weekly. Well, we're just still trying to find our identity, you know? OK. them get insurance too? Yep. Set up a payment schedule. Where's he getting his money? Mike arranged that he would cut grass at the school, in the fields. I told Mike this was a bad idea. I mean, he barely knows this kid. Well, you know Mike. How do you make a person trustworthy? Trust them. Mike trusted those roofers a couple years back. They did half the job for the full price. And then they disappeared on him. Hey, Russell. How you doing, man? What, you hit a number on the lotto? You're giving away cars? <laughs> I could use a high-definition TV. What for? You only fall asleep in front of it. Not if it was HD. You know, if you're thinking of passing on some of Lewis's things, there's this new rec center, a department sponsoring, and they're, they're looking for donations. Remember, Lewis had that foosball table he used to play on night and day when he was a kid. We're not sure what we're doing with that yet. Brendan Wright. I'm Detective Russell Dwyer. I work for the county. I've been meaning to pay you a visit ever since I heard the Stubbs took you in. Why is that? You've been in the system long enough to know that your record isn't going to fold up neatly and disappear on you. I mean, conditional discharge where they seal your records, that's for misdemeanors. And drunk and disorderly, whacking mailboxes with a baseball bat. 
but that's not you. Now, I know what you're thinking. Another cop hassling me for no good reason. But I have a reason. I am a stat man, Brendan. You into fantasy football or baseball? Well, you should try it. It's a good distraction. Now, I love it because it's all stats. And the guys that are really great at it, well, they learn how to dig through all the useless data and find what's really important. I checked the recidivism statistics on that boys club you spent the last three years in. Do you know what recidivism means? No. It's a 50 cent word that means messing up again. Do you know the recidivism rate of those rats that came out of that hole you were in? 90% arrested within two years of release. Nine out of 10. And that's why I'm here, Brennan. Nothing personal, just the stats. Now the Stubbs, they're good folks. Never took a shortcut in their lives. And they had a son. He was a cop. He was killed in the line of duty. Routine traffic stop. The guy shot him dead on the side of the highway. They don't need any more heartache. Yes, sir. I will be seeing you, Brendan. I heard some kids talking about you at school today. I guess they found a story about a Brendan King arrested in a drug raid in the city about three years ago. If you're uncomfortable talking about it, I completely... No, it's... it's cool. Anyway, I, I wouldn't worry if it gets out. Girls love a bad boy. It's in their DNA. They love the challenge to reform a rebellious boy. Get real? No, they have done studies out of it. Car just go off the road up there? Wait, Brennan, stop the car! Thing you were coming by. That was a darn heroic thing he did. Anyone would have done it? I don't think so. Could have easily have gone another way. Well, the car looked like it was about to explode, so I hung back. But my friend. You being there was no accident. God has a plan. Hope you believe that. Is this seat taken or does Katie Couric want it so she can interview you? Well, she just left, so it's all yours. We're rock stars, dude. Did you catch me on the news? I plugged you big time. <laughs> you saved the homecoming queen. How crazy is that? You talked to her since then? No, I mean... Dude, you gotta get on that. You're like a superhero. I don't okay. think you're getting that. Now you've lost it. I haven't lost it. What are you doing in this class? I don't know. I've never been in this classroom before. It's because it's not your classroom. Yeah, well... There are a lot of pretty girls in this class. I 
Mr. Sheedy. Oh, sorry. Just don't let this fame go to your head, all right? Big surprise, huh? I was with you. You know I got rich. What up, bro? Big Lex came too. Brian? When'd you guys get out? I got out last May. But Rich, he been stomping for about a year now. Anyone else? Tev somewhere. How you been? Thought you was gonna contact me when you got out. Had to see you on the news. Of course, I couldn't recognize you. Grew your fade out. Y'all see this? Baby boy's all brand new. Nah, he ain't brand new. He's just a pretty boy now. But even if they all forget, I seen you go pit bull. I ain't seeing it now. Yeah. I heard about you making a name for yourself. Are you was inside? Got all cleaned up, huh? Yeah, I can't roll with the old crew anymore, Eli. Old crew? We family, brother. So I'm gonna get to why we really here. Been to the woods where Tuck kept a stash. It's empty, completely dry, you feel me? What makes you think there'd be anything there? Cause Tuck kept a stash, weed, Money, cane, liquor, all that. And I know the police got work during the raid, but there should be more, a lot more. Look, I don't know, Eli. Tuck didn't mention any other spots. Come on, man, you were in that more than me. Yeah, maybe. Tell you what, you think about it. Maybe something pops up. But I need you to give it serious thought. It's good to see you, brother. Be in touch. Later. I'm sure the club can find a few ways for you to fill up your service hours. But don't look at it as a punishment. Mistakes are a normal part of life. Use it as an opportunity, OK? Thanks, Mr. Stubbs. She's distanced herself from me and from everybody. She's quiet. She comes in. She goes right up to her room. She got that tattoo without talking to us about it. That is so not like her. She would never do that. You know, if you were here, then maybe you'd see that something's really wrong. I'm not blaming you, but you can't say that your moving away hasn't played some part in this. Look, call her later. Maybe she'll talk to you. What did he say? That I could do my hours with them. Did it give you any idea what you'd be working on? We didn't get into that.
Hey, Brendan. A couple of nights ago, a skater kid cracked up near the park. Dropped a couple of hits of acid. <laughs> you know, I haven't seen that out here in a long time. Kind of a coincidence, wouldn't you say? It wasn't me. No, not you. You're on a new path now, right? The hero. <laughs> Do you remember that story I told you about the Stubbs' son? Oh, we never caught the guy who did that. Now, I know you didn't do it, but you're what I picture when I think of him. You talked to any of the old crew lately? What do you want from me? Yeah. There's something in your eyes that bothers me. Like you're waiting for someone to challenge you so that you can prove them wrong. But all that usually happens is, is that you prove them right. out here I kind of just want to be left alone usually when I just want to be alone I could really use some company Seekers. Are you there by choice, or are you court-ordered like me? Why would you think I was court-ordered? Kids talk? No, I'm not court-ordered. The police found some stuff I bought off this kid at school. I had an AP history exam and was having some trouble focusing. Look, I don't have a problem. It's not like I get out of bed every morning and crush up smart drugs just to get my GPA up. I never thought I had a problem. Until I got locked up. I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I'm not like... What? Not like me? I'm sorry, I didn't... It's okay. I'm not like me anymore either. It's the next one on the right. Brendan, right? Yeah. I'm Zach. Natalie's boyfriend? How's it going? I've been meaning to thank you for helping her the way you did. It's no problem. I appreciate it. Me and Nat have been going through some things. I just wanted to let you know because we're in one of those on again, off again cycles. But that's the deal, dude. Just pulled her out of a car. That's it, dude. <laughs> hmm. Later. You got my message. Are you okay? What's going on? I want you to tell me about Brendan. I want to know the things I said I didn't want to know. What happened? You do something? No, no. I just changed my mind. Well, maybe you should talk to Mike. I'd rather hear it from you. Please. Yeah. 
Got a minute? What's up? Oh, those, those rumors going around are a lot of them true? <sighs> yeah. I was talking to the club and, well, we haven't run any of this past Mr. Stubbs yet, but oh, it is our club and so a lot of the decisions do fall on us. You want me out? No, 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 just the opposite. What does that mean? Well, sometimes I see the work we do and I feel like we're just going through the motions, you know, cleaning up garbage in the park, stuffing Red Cross envelopes. It's good and everything, but we're a faith club and I just don't feel like we're making the spiritual connection we should be. What do you want me to do? Well, we, we want to really transform lives and your experiences may show us how. We'd like you to help us find projects that can really make a difference, like in the city, maybe something in your old neighborhood. Uh, look, I'd like to help the club. I really would. But I just think it's better if I don't go back there. Oh. I'm just trying to move past all that. No, yeah, no, no, no worries. We, we didn't think about that part. Sorry. Brendan, we believe in you. Hey. What's going on? Something on your mind? Uh, well, the Seekers. They asked me if I'd take them into the city and do some service work down there. Sounds like a real sign of respect for you. Everything you've been through. Well, part of me wants to do it. Another part just, just doesn't want to go there. That's totally understandable. But let me just tell you this. Everything you do, every decision you make, you need to do a cost-benefit analysis. You get to that in economics class yet? Uh, no. How will something benefit you? What will it cost you? What do you have to risk? But see, what people forget sometimes is there's a cost for not doing something, too. We don't only pay for what we do in life. We also pay for what we don't do. Yeah, it's a scary deal, I know. You wanted to leave that part of your life behind. Pray on it. Right decision will show itself to you. You know, it did for me just a little while back when I was trying to decide whether or not to bring this young guy into my house. Thanks, Mike. almost ready to go. We just need to select a charity. That looks good. I'll get working on the charity. Uh, how's the online bidding for nominees coming? Um, well, last week uh, the website crashed, but other than that, it's, it's running smoothly. We have a lot of bidders now. That seems to be okay. Um, what else? Great. Um, John? We just need to get the decoration signed off on. Okay, who are we gonna talk to uh, about that? Can yeah. you talk to her? Yeah, yeah. All right. We're gonna need, yeah, we need refreshments, so what is it? Hey, Hannah. Did Mr. Stubbs talk to you about my situation? Yeah, he said you'll be doing some community service with us. Yeah. I'd like to get my hours in as soon as I can, so if anything comes up. Um, what are you doing right now? Just going to the mall. Brendan's taking Chris Sheedy and me downtown. He's got an idea for a project he wants us to see. Whereabouts? Don't know. He said that if he told us, we might not want to go. But it could count towards your hours. Kind of short notice. Sure, whatever. Actually, hang on just a sec. Is 
these days I just can't think straight I got too many angles running around my brain Cause I gotta go but I wanna stay And it breaks my heart when I hear you say Hey, it'll be okay Cause I What is this place? This is where I used to live. I told myself I would never come back to this hole. friends died right here. Before I got locked up, I used to run wild. Bumped in and out of foster homes. Out of control, selling drugs. The kids in the system become your gang. Your gang becomes your family. That type of living almost got me killed. The first six months I was inside, I was so angry. But I was in solitary more than I was out of it. One day a chaplain came by and handed me a Bible. I laughed. God never came to these places. But I read that book. Because it was the only book they'd let me have. And I swear, I realized that I hadn't even been living at all. I had been going about it all wrong. I want to rehab this house. You know, make it a place for neighborhood kids to come and hang out. A place where they can work out their problems with no struggles. Just a good home to turn to. How are you gonna do that? Buy the house, fix it up. Who's gonna run it? I don't know. It's like I have a vision. And I have to just step into it. What's impossible for man is possible for God. That's right. I mean, look at my life. The way it was, it's not like this house. And look at me now. Nothing is impossible. If God could give me a second chance, he could turn this house into a castle. What are you gonna call it? Yeah, it needs a name. Check this out. House of Redemption. That sounds like one of your lame band names. King's Castle. Or how about just the castle? Yeah, I like that. So explain to me again, how exactly are we gonna buy this place? Ambitious, I'll tell you that. Well, if it helps, I did a cost-benefit analysis last night. Oh, so what's your funny guy now? Just saying. I figured I could talk to some local businesses, see if they'd help out, kick in some paint and lumber and stuff. Well, you know, houses like that sometimes can be purchased for back taxes. Maybe even less if the city wants to unload them. You just need to prove to them that you can take on that sort of responsibility. But with your history, that might be a tough go. Yeah. Might need me to co-sign with you. You do that for me? 
I just did a quick cost-benefit analysis. Well, when V kicks you out, you can come stay in the garage with me. <laughs> no joke. Well, thanks, Mike. Look, you putting the man hours, figure out what you have to do to pull this together. I'll do whatever I can to help. God will take care of the rest. Power of faith, huh? Hello, Natalie. Hey. Got a second? Yeah. I couldn't sleep last night. That story you told in the house just kept going over and over in my head. Well, I'm glad you were there. I have an idea. I'm not sure how it's going to fly, but the Bachelor Bachelor auction is next month. The money we raise, we donate to local causes, and we still haven't decided on a charity to support. I'd like to talk the student council into donating to the castle. You think they'd go for that? I don't see why not. I am the president. What? I'm just surprised, I guess. Well, don't be. Thank you. There is one catch, though. You're going to have to do me a favor. Name it. Put yourself up for auction. Online bidding starts next week. Winners are revealed at a party we're throwing at the pavilion. <sighs> You're kidding, right? Not at all. I'm sure there's someone at this school willing to put money down on a date with you. Uh, it's kind of not my thing. Yeah, but you're the face of the franchise. You can't raise money for the castle if it's leading players and in the game. Hey, you know, uh, maybe we can auction Sheedy instead. Do I detect an element of fear in Mr. Fearless? is popping. What's her name? What are you doing here? Just checking out. Shouldn't be here. I bumped into Tevin the other day. And uh, he seems to remember you and Tuck packing a couple shovels in a car a couple days before we got busted. I don't know what he's talking about, man. See, that's gang property, bro. And it's not doing anybody any good. Sitting wherever it's at. We need it working for us. We need in the streets, helping us build back up. If Tuck did it, I don't know where it is, okay? See, I wish that I could believe that. But I wish you'd think about this some more. I don't need to think on it, E. You like these people, huh? This place you are now? You like the people you hanging out with now, huh? Seems like a nice place, nice people. And that girl? She real fine. What's that mean? Huh? What's that mean? Take it easy, baby. We just having a general conversation. That's all, B. County Clerk's Office. Hi. I'm looking for information on how to purchase a house. Uh, I checked the website that lists properties that have a tax lien. Do you have a parcel ID number? Yes, ma'am. Uh, 130 042 01. Please hold. Yes, ma'am. Brendan? Brendan King? Okay. Natalie, I know you already locked on a band for the auction, but if you're looking for an opening act, you should check us out. We're pretty tight. We play mostly alternative I rock. I we discussed this. Oh, I forgot. You're the gatekeeper to the student council now? No, we <laughs> just don't need an opening act for the auction. Fine, I was just throwing it out there. Shh. No, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, so, what do I do? I just go down there and... Okay. All right. Thank you. Thirty-five. Thirty-five dollars? Thirty-five They do realize the place isn't even worth thirty-five cents, right? Yeah, well, how it works is we can go down there and file a petition for it, and that sort of makes it ours. But then we have sixty days to come up with the rest. You know what's strange? Last year's auction raised thirty-five hundred dollars. 
So, how much to file for a petition, Brendan? Ten dollars. We're gonna do this. Hey, uh, talk to Stan today. That job's coming open. And Marie's going on maternity leave. Oh. I told him I'd discuss it with you. I don't think it's time yet. Yeah, but when we talked about it a couple of days ago, you said it might be. Mm, I know. I mean, this could be a good thing, Vanessa. Get back to work. I worry. You're out here in the garden a lot, but sometimes it seems to me like you're working in quicksand. I mean, you grow all these beautiful flowers. Maybe it's time for you to bring them to some other places, you know, back to school, back to work, back to church, back to your friends who care about you. I talked to Russell, about Brendan. Okay. This was supposed to be about healing. But this does not feel like healing to me. It feels like more pain. Vanessa, you don't have to fear the boy. He left that world behind the day he was saved. Saved? Mm hmm Is that it, Mike? The dark clouds part, the sun shines down, and the choir rejoices in song. I mean, I... Got a second? What's up? That's what I'm wondering. A lot of stories flying. I've got nothing against you personally. You did a cool thing helping Natalie. But uh, some of the stuff I heard you were into, she doesn't need to be around that. You're right. She doesn't. She won't. Good. Because if I find out she was, we're gonna have a problem. We done? A lot of people doubted me. They laughed in my face, said there ain't no way. I would finish that race, but I kept my head down and laced up my shoes. I ran a marathon when no one thought I could. I didn't always want to, but I said that I would, and I learned a lot about what I can do. It doesn't matter if they don't believe It doesn't matter if they do not understand Cause every dream that I'm trying to achieve I can, I can, I can I can, I can, I can So make a list Do not make it brief Write down every single wish and every little thing that you want Don't sell yourself short Don't ever hesitate if people turn you down Do not settle, do not wait Don't ever turn around cause you're almost there I swear, I swear it's yours And all that matters is there's no regrets It doesn't matter if they do not understand Cause everything you want you haven't gotten yet You can, you can, you can My friends and I we get in with these clubs and it's all about the resume spike. We pick a charity and throw an event and pass the money along to someone else, never really getting our hands dirty. Feels good, doesn't it? It feels right what we're doing. 
Hold still. If you don't mind me asking, what happened to your family? Uh, Sorry. No, it's, um... My mom died. Drugs. And, uh, my dad... I don't know who he is. My brothers or sisters? How does anyone make it through that? My parents are divorced, but... I know who they are. I know where they are. That like a girlfriend tattoo? No, it's um, it's kind of like something to remind me of how I got here. A broken heart? It's a mended heart. Is that a cross in the middle? Yeah, I kind of messed that part up. I like that it's not perfect. Worst thing you've ever done? Well, I've uh, I've made a lot of bad decisions, but uh, at least I never killed anybody. It's just um, I'm not proud of them. I have to go. Hey, wait, Natalie. Hey, hang on. Hey, hang on. Whatever it is you're going through, you don't. You don't have to do it alone. Brendan. Yeah, I do. Return on my text. You thought I would? You said friends, right? I broke up with you. You should hate me right now. Yeah, well, I can't. We never really talked about things. About the accident and the other stuff. I don't know what else to say. You're not answering any text, any calls. When anyone sees you outside school, you're hanging out with the seekers. Yeah, you used to go out and have fun. And now something's changed. So what are you saying? You think I can't have fun without you? You can't tell me you're having it with the Seekers. That's enough. So, it's official then. You've become one of them. Maybe I have. Really? What's Natalie doing these days? Why don't you ask yourself, man? She doesn't talk to me much lately. And when she does, doesn't sound much like the Natalie that I know. What is it with you? You saved her life. Now maybe you think you could save her soul? I mean, isn't that what you guys do in your club? Huh? Let me make this as straight as I can for you. Stay away from her. I don't want any trouble. Yeah. See? I've been on the field against teams loaded with city trash, waving their tats and their thug signs. They ain't so bad when it's an even playing field. When they don't have the posse and their hardware. And what about when they do got it? Eli, it's okay, man. Yeah, it's okay, bro. Yeah, I know. You got your posse here, don't you? What are you doing? You put the gun down. I'm out number four to hey, one. Hey, put it down! Huh? It's Wait, more even now, down? right? I'm sorry. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna give my man an apology. I, I apologize. Put it down. I ain't buying it. Say it on your knees. Hey, enough. 
on your knees. I apologize. Get out of here, man. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? What I don't get is why you taking this from them. Because you can't show up here and start waving guns in people's faces. Wow. You got stale in a joint, bruh. Mm. Come on, you're taking a ride with me. No, nah, man, I'm getting out of here. Curfew. Curfew. You don't get it, do you? They ain't never gonna accept you out here. You gonna always be trash. No matter how many houses you fix up with them. One day when they're doing the Behind the Music special on me, you can tell them, I remember meeting Sheedy in the hallway. He was pumped out of his mind that his band had just gotten the gig at the charity auction. Seriously? Totally. But I, uh, I thought they already had a band. Well, they backed out. Nice. Would you mind helping me hand out these flyers, though? Isn't that your publicist's job? It's cold, man. That's cold. Hmm. You got some right there, right? Yeah, I know that's him. And we got a one? Hey, I'm on it. Bad day for a bike ride. I said so myself. Yeah. You want me to keep following him? Should I get him now? Yeah, we follow him. Stay close. And when we hit them, we hit them hard. Got it. Did you get a look at these guys at all? How so many height, weight, what they're wearing? I really didn't see that much. Hey, Mr. Stubbs. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Uh, I'm doing all right. Brendan, don't I look pretty? It is an improvement. Hey, Russell. Mike. Look, I just got one more question for you. We got some security video from the school, caught a glimpse of a van driving pretty fast around the time you were hit. Black van. Ring a bell? Look, I really don't remember that much. I'll give it time. I'll come back to you. All right. Mike. Yeah. Look, thanks for coming, guys. I really appreciate it. Yeah. We'll have you back in math class in no time.
so bad. About the other day, I'm sorry I just took off like that. It's cool. I guess I just got scared of what you'd think of me if I told you. Well, you don't have to be. Yeah, I do. It'll change things. Maybe you're playing it just right then. Keep whatever it is buried inside and let it eat away at you until you can't feel or care about anything at all. Yeah, maybe you're right. anybody. I didn't know. Or my mom. It was a mistake. But it happened and I dealt with it. I thought it was for the best. I didn't think I was strong enough to have a baby. But now, I don't think I'm strong enough to carry this emptiness. I'm not sure of anything anymore. But please don't tell me faith can fix me because I cut myself off from God forever. It's okay. Brendan around. He's not here right now. Oh. You know, I think it's really nice what you guys are doing for him. The way you gave him a second chance. After all the trouble he's been through, you know? Not like it's his fault, though. Kind of like a dog that's bred to be vicious. Can't help it. I think you should leave. See, there's a funny thing about fighting dogs. Because no matter how many times you try to save them, there's not enough TLC on the planet that can keep them down. Sooner or later, they'll turn. Mom. Um, said he's not here right now. You tell Brendan. Eli. Says, hey. My mom has this vision of what she wants me to be. I'm afraid that if I tell her, that vision will be destroyed. What about Zach? Where does that stand? Where does that stand? Stand still with Zach. My whole life feels like it's been standing still. And then you showed up. You really need to talk to Zach.
Yo, E, it's me. Yeah, we gotta talk. It's like the transformation stuck. Cause he ain't the same OG. What's up, Brian? So this is it, huh? Man, we was family. Bonded through blood. Blood that we spill. Blood that we saw spill because Tuck bled out in front of both of us. You got something you want to say? Yeah. You want to hurt somebody, hurt me. That's all you got, huh? Hey, what you're looking for isn't the answer. Let it go, man. You cannot let go who you are. I did, and it's so much better. You can too. Life is supposed to be good, Eli. <laughs> You got to be kidding me. Listen, I promise you, there was a hope so great that it changed me, and it can change you. Last chance. Stop trying to save me and save yourself and your new people. And you don't have to do this. <gasps> Mike, hmm? Brendan's not back. Hmm? Mike, Mike. What? Brendan. 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 I'll call nine one one. No, they'll put him away. Vanessa, help me, please. Don't let it fall. Don't let it fall off the back. Watch your head. Okay. Looks like they got into him pretty good. I don't want to bring this in here. I don't want this in here. And that's what we already have. Vanessa, help me, please. You know what to do, I don't. Oh. There's no way for me to know what is going on if there's internal bleeding or anything. I don't know that. Easy, easy, easy. Let me cover. Oh. Yes. It's okay, buddy. Relax, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. Relax. The ice 
Detective Russell Dwyer, please. I uh, haven't seen him yet, ma'am. It's a bit early. Can I help you? Oh, when will he be in? His shift starts at 7. Oh. Is there a message? Ma'am? No, no message. I know what you set out to do, you know? I do. But it's too much. I mean, first the car, the house, now this. V. L listen, the boy needs to be under the care of a doctor. He needs to be in a hospital. Hospitals ask questions, you know that. He's aged out of the system. This is his last stop. Then what, he goes back out to the streets? If that happens, Mike, it's not our fault. It's not on us. Maybe not. But it feels like it is. I have always been surrounded by men who could never turn their backs on people in need. And I guess I should feel like that's a blessing, but I, I feel abandoned. Lewis never abandoned you. Well, then why am I here and he's not? Oh, really, V? Really? You're not here in any sense that I remember. Lewis was taken, but then you have gone and given everything else away. I was abandoned. I was abandoned by whoever I was praying to all those years. Why did he let it happen? Why, I mean, I have tried, Mike. I swear to you, I have tried to believe that there's a reason. I mean, there's a reason for everything, right? That's what we're always telling you ourselves. You can't right? know well, all the I answers. I can't think of one. Well, maybe the only answer is that there is no answer. That there's no reason. There's just random chaos, and that's all there is. Lewis's death was a tragedy. But God will use it for a better purpose. I believe that, V. I really do. I know. Now we can turn away from this kid, or we can turn to him. I wish I could believe like you believe. But Mike, you know what? It's been a long, 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 long road, and I... I really don't know anymore. No, please. No, I can't. Just let me give it. He was in a fight. Where? Don't know. He's not saying. He got roughed up pretty bad, though. Can I see him? He's resting now. I'm not so sure he wants you to see him like that. He didn't say what happened. I'll tell him you stopped by. Maybe I should help you with that. I got it. Look, it's not a request. Just take a break. I'll do it. Hey! 
Is that what he said? No, but he's been in a fight. Got hurt pretty bad. Wasn't me. What do you see in him anyway? With all his baggage, where is he really going? He's turned his life around. Right, through Jesus. What is it that you don't like? Hmm? That he's a convicted felon or someone that has a relationship with God? Both. Some kids just substitute the God thing and for whatever else they've been using or abusing. But now they're Jesus crazy instead of whatever other kind of crazy they were before. Some are downright scary. Not to mention being the biggest hypocrites. Brendan's not crazy, and he's not a hypocrite. <laughs> you haven't known him long. He could just be using you. Using your issues and his religion thing and for whatever he wants. Stop calling it a thing. A God thing, a religion thing. It isn't a thing to him. It's a way of life. A way to life when he was headed for death before. <laughs> Listen to yourself. You sound like a Bible thumper. You know what, Sock? I'd rather sound like anybody in the world right now than what you sound like. Morning, V. Russell. I was passing on my way to work and the scent of that omelet stopped me in my tracks. Well, you know what? You can just have half of this one. <laughs> that sounds good. Hey, listen. You didn't happen to call my number at the station the other morning. Me? Yeah, call her ID. Put the number here. What call where? Hey, morning, Mike. Morning. Did you call the station the other morning? Uh, did I? Look, if there's something you want to say, I'm all ears. Nothing to be afraid of. Is that kid causing you some trouble? Brendan? No. Oh, my brain. It was me. I did call you. Yeah, I... You know you were telling us about that rec center? Yeah. Well, um, Mike and I discussed it, and we want to donate some of Lewis's things. Right. Yeah. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're starting to part with some of Lewis's things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, did you get it? Did I get what? The rec center's number. No, not yet.
Brendan is really thinking that he's going to take a house that should be and could be making us a whole lot of money. Make a clubhouse. Make it hot, Lex. morning, firefighters were busy in the city last night with a suspected case of arson. A fire apparently started shortly before 2 a.m. at a house on Sio Street. They put it out in about 15 minutes. How you feeling? <sighs> Can I get you something to eat, drink? Sure. Brendan. You know that uh, house that you guys were working on? There was a fire. I'm sorry. Look, I didn't mean to just pop in on you. I just wanted to know you're okay. Here, I got something for you. It's not a big deal. I just saw it at the mall last week and... Another house. We'll start all over. I'll talk to student council. We can still use the auction to support this. If you're trying to scare me, it's working. Maybe you should be scared of me. I'm not scared of you. Yeah, well, you would be if you knew what's inside me. What does that mean? Come on, you can tell me anything. Brendan, will you please say something? Why don't you say something? Say something to Zach, say something to your mom. Let them know what you're dealing with. They're the ones you should be concerned about. Forget about me, I'm... You should just go, Natalie. That's it? After everything? Put you and Vanessa in a bad spot, Mike. You want to tell me what's going on? I helped a friend bury some stuff before he got arrested. Drugs. The guys who beat you up, they know that? Yeah. And they're going to hurt some people if I don't get it back to them. 
people close to me. Like they did Chris Sheedy. Like Sheedy, like the house that they burned down. Then give it to him. It's not that simple, Mike. If I had it my way, I'd let it stay buried, let it rot. But they won't let that happen. And if I give it to them, it's out there on the streets hurting people and ruining lives. And I won't let that happen. That doesn't leave you many options, does it? Only one that I know of. Only one, because you only listening to your own voice. You shutting out God, can't you see that? Yeah, I did that too. When they took away my baby boy, I turned my back on God, tried to handle it on my own. I held my thumb out for a way out, Mike, and it didn't come. Okay, so now I gotta do this my way. It is not too late, Brendan. I gotta no, go, no, Mike. no, you wanna make this a fight of flesh and blood, but it's not. It's spiritual. With the powers of darkness, the enemy is afraid of what you can truly become. You need to turn this over to God right here, right now. Mike, I gotta go. Put the bag down. Mike. Put it down! Sit down. Sit down! Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. If you do not stand firm in your faith, you will not stand at all. He will fight this fight for you, son. I know. We should talk to Russell. You come on down when you're ready. Where in the city is he going? I don't know. Well, what do you know, Mike? What can you tell me? It, th there's been a van hanging out here for the past couple of days, a black van. Here's the uh, license plate. Look, I told you, this is a bad idea, and you wouldn't listen to me. Russell, the kid's heart is in the right place. I've seen inside their hearts, Mike. The day I found Lewis on the side of the road. No, no, that, that's not what it is. Yeah, it is. It's not your fault, Russell. What? Lewis. Look, I'm talking about Brendan, Mike, not Lewis. No, you've been talking to me about Lewis in every conversation we've had for the past four years. Oh. You and Vanessa both. I told you once and I'll tell you again, Lewis did not become a cop because you encouraged him or you nudged him. He became a cop because he wanted to. It's not on you, Russell. And you don't have to make it your mission to protect Vanessa and me. Yeah, well, it feels like I do. You gotta let it go.
All right. Where is it? It should be right here. Should be where? Look, we buried it 15 feet from that tree. It should be here. Is this some kind of joke, man? I'm all the way out here. He don't even know Calm where it is. Calm down. I said it's under here. Let's dig. That's what we came to do. It better be here. Just shut up and dig, man. You shut up. Let's go. You guys been fighting like little girls since you joined the set. You know, we weren't happy doing what we had to do, Brent. It hurt, man. Just want you to know. You are a brother to us. And Lex, you're digging incredibly slow. Rich, will you help him, please? Yo, this dude's playing us. See, there's nothing in here. It better be here. Calm down, all right? Because Brendan knows what happens when people play me. Come on, dig, man. This is empty, man. Brendan, where's the box? Oh, God. Yeah. And the gong sounds. Tough guy. That's the music I was going to hear. Come on. Funny how the memory works, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to be heavy. Ah. It's what you do for family. Let me see it. Got your blade? Yeah. All right. Back on top, man. You don't need the help. Come on. Ah. Uh, see this right here? That's all This is definitely all right. Yeah. Hey, homie. Okay, this all right here? Brick, Lex, and put it back in the cooler. Close it up. This is not how you treat family, Brandon. You ain't my family, Eli. Family's supposed to care about each other. All you ever did was care about yourself. This is gonna stop. This is gonna stop right now. Don't, man. Don't. All right? Just take the stuff. All right, take it and go. I don't want it, Eli. Get out of here. Get the box. Get the box. This ain't over, Brent. And you know it.
You never came to bed. I couldn't. Just hope he's all right. I thought for sure I heard him come back last night and I looked outside. It was the car next door. And if it was him, would you let him stay? After everything now? This scares me, Mike. It does. I wouldn't let anyone hurt you. He was addicted to this game. Tried to teach it to me a million times. I could never seem to get the hang of it. <laughs> Get so easily, it's hard to sleep comfortably with a hand that turns to what's growing. Hey, mom. Hey. Boarding pass and a red coat. Can I talk to right you? Side by the angry note that says, sure. I don't want you anymore. Midnight train to out of here The pouring rain, the cold heart still Would take me somewhere secure I was just having a conversation about you not two minutes ago and Now here you are parked across the street from my parking spot What are the odds? I don't know, what are the odds, man? Well, they gotta be a thousand to one Where'd you get those bruises on your face? Vanessa and Mike know you're here? No. Well, maybe you could clear a few things up for me. We caught the guys who ran into your buddy Sheedy. When was this? Early this morning. <laughs> Mike called. Said he saw a black van hanging around the house a couple nights ago, pegged a plate to a T. Get this. They were old buddies of yours from downtown. Crazy, huh? You want to know something else? They were driving around with a cooler full of heroin. Looks like those boys are going back inside for a long time. What were they doing hanging around Mike and V's place? And what does all this have to do with you? I didn't know what to do. You didn't know about the cooler? I thought I could handle it on my own. I should have came to you. I'm sorry, I was wrong. You're sorry? You know what's supposed to happen now, don't you? And what are you doing here? Turning yourself in? I guess so.
Go home, Brendan. Mike and V are looking for you. For the record, I still got you at 90%. It doesn't mean I'm not pulling for you. But I'm not betting on you yet. Everything uh, worked itself out. You hungry? Uh, yeah. Give me a hand with this. Sure. A few. Like rubber? How are you making them? Well, I never been auctioned before, so kind of weird, I guess. Don't worry. My sources tell me that someone cracked open their piggy bank and dropped some serious coin on you. I talked to my mom and Zach. I'm glad. Step one, right? Yeah. I don't want to give up on this, Brendan. On any of it. I think he's gonna be all right. I think he's gonna be just fine. Ready for this? I guess so. Hold tight, Brendan. Greater things are yet to come. Everyone has their number. Mine is holding at 18. If you would have told me that last year, I would have had my doubts. But I'm still here. I'm not sure what the future holds, but I know that I don't have to walk it alone. If you stand firm in your faith, anything is possible.
So appealing is the high. 